Donald Trump's tax returns are now in the hands of the Manhattan District Attorney's CBS Office. CBS Dick Prentice, excuse me, is here with more on what this could mean for the former president. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, prosecutors obtained the records on Monday just hours after the U.S. Supreme Court denied Trump's last-ditch effort to keep the records private. The millions of pages of documents are set to contain Trump's returns spanning from January of 2011 to August of 2019. Donald Trump had tried for years to keep his taxes secret and was taunted by Joe Biden at a debate in 2020. I paid $27 million Show us your tax year. returns. I went, uh, you'll see it as soon as it's finished, you'll see it. But Mr. Trump never turned over the returns until finally ordered to do so by a court. Now they're in the hands of Manhattan prosecutors. The Manhattan DA is investigating possible criminality with regard to filing tax records and stating or overinflating is the argument, the value of property. Tax documents are said to be a treasure trove for prosecutors looking into the sometimes murky financial past of Donald Trump. They'll contain detailed financial information about the operation of a business or the conduct of someone's personal finances that will uh, provide something of a benchmark against which other information of a financial nature can be measured. Former U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District Zachary Carter says Mr. Trump could also have legal exposure on a federal level, whether for his finances or a possible role in the January 6th Capitol Hill riots. There's no reason why the Justice Department shouldn't sh uh, look at whether or not um, he played a role that uh, that violated the federal criminal laws. And in New York State, Attorney General Letitia James is investigating possible civil crimes against Mr. Trump. Largely having to do with the inflated value of assets as a condition for receiving loans. Uh, and those loans exposed the people, the institutions making the loans, uh, to significantly much more financial risk than they thought they were taking on if indeed these charges are sustained in court. Now, the tax documents handed off won't be released to the public because they're subject to grand jury secrecy rules. Mr. Trump has said obtaining his taxes is just a way for prosecutors to carry out politically motivated prosecutions. Christina Maurice. Okay, Dick, thank you.